What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of my 2019 F1 modded career mode. Here today for round number 14 at the Italian Grand Prix at a very wet Monza circuit. It's going to be an interesting one with this weather and if you didn't check out the last round at Spa, I would highly recommend you doing so now because that was an absolutely crazy race, probably the, uh, the most mental one of the season. But if you're still enjoying this series, do make sure to leave a like down below. Let's try and hit 100 likes as usual. And a lot of you guys have been commenting down below about uh, liveries. Because of course, the team's starting to release their 2019 liveries now for the real life season. And I've started to implement them from this Grand Prix onwards. So you can see on screen now the Haas uh, Rich Energy livery, which I've implemented from this round onwards. And then from Singapore onwards... I will be using the Williams and Toro Rosso liveries that were released yesterday. Now today, uh, I believe the Renault livery is being released. I don't know what that is yet and how long it'll be on uh, b before it is on race department. But that will be in future episodes as well. Now getting on to the upgrades then. And we have got a aerodynamics upgrade completed for this round. Unfortunately though... The brake upgrade, uh, which falls under chassis, I believe, that one failed. So that should be with us next time in Singapore. But uh, yeah, just the one minor upgrade this time. We've got another aerodynamics upgrade, though, on the way for Singapore, of course, as well as that chassis upgrade. Another couple of minor ones, which should shoot us up the chart. Now, in terms of the performance chart, we're still in fourth place because Red Bull also brought an upgrade this round, I believe. But we are literally within touching distance of even Ferrari. They're not too far ahead of us now. And Haas are a long way behind. Now getting into the grid for this Italian Grand Prix. And Sebastian Vettel put it on pole at Ferrari's home race ahead of Lewis Hamilton. A front row which we've become quite familiar to in this series. And then in behind are their respective teammates. Charles Leclerc in third ahead of Bottas in fourth. And then we've got Ricardo and ourselves on row three. So not quite getting ahead of our teammate, but we're lining up pretty decently with Verstappen down in P7 ahead of Perez, Raikkonen and Stroll rounding out the top 10. And then we've got Pierre Gasly, who's taken a penalty and is down in 11th ahead of Grosjean, Sainz, Kvyat. Then it's Russell and Norris. George Russell putting in a very good performance for Williams, seeing as they are the slowest car on the grid. And then we've got Kibitza, Albon, and then we've got Magnussen and Giovinazzi who have taken penalties. So as I've already mentioned, it is going to be a wet Grand Prix. And that means that we should only stop once for a second set of intermediate tyres. If you look at the forecast, it's not forecast to get any worse. But it's not forecast to get any better either. So yeah, hopefully it should be a relatively straightforward strategy for us. Now getting on to the formation lap then, you can see on the driver's standings in the bottom right that we jumped ahead of Max Verstappen after that mental Belgian Grand Prix we had last time out, where we took our second victory of the season, of course. Now it's going to be difficult to do so once again today, um, <laughs> unless we just have another completely mental race, but very unlikely to have two of those in a row. I think the main aim has just got to be to outdo our teammate. Ricardo has been pretty strong in the last few rounds, ever since we got, you know, a, a better car uh, since the midway part of the season. He's very much matched us. But what can we do today as we go to five red lights here at Monza and away we go. Trying to be very, very careful off the start, but getting quite a lot of wheel spin and uh, having to put a bit of opposite lock. To, uh, to prevent us spinning off the line. We've got Max Verstappen side by side with us as we come into the braking zone here at the uh, the Variante Del Ratafio. And uh, now we've got Verstappen coming down the inside of us. He rode the curb a bit there, but it looks as if we have just about held position ahead of the Dutchman. And yeah, sure enough, we are still in P6 as we come now towards the second chicane, the Variante Del Arrogia. And uh, we're quite a way behind our teammates, Daniel Ricciardo, already, but they are battling hard into the end of the uh, of the first sector and into the second sector we go now into the first of the lesmos the front two are side by side running through the first lesmo as where we are very much a passenger here but i think the battling up ahead has very much allowed us to close in and uh, we had to put the anchors on there to stop us going into the back of our teammate daniel ricardo we can barely see the car ahead uh, due to the amount of spray. Fortunately, the name tags are uh, sort of 
being a bit of a marker for us. And now we come through the famous Ascari chicane. Can't take it full throttle by any means at this moment in time. And we lose quite a bit of time through the exit of the Ascari chicane. And now on the way to the Parabolica. We're going to have Max Verstappen surely go for a move on us. And we've got Lance Stroll who's gone down the inside. We managed to get ahead. But Verstappen has gone into Lance Stroll who, then, who has then hit his teammate Sergio Perez. And that has deployed the safety car on the first lap of the Grand Prix. And we're going to take a look at a replay of exactly what happened there. So we got a poor exit, which allowed Verstappen to go to the outside and Stroll to the inside. And I think it was just unlucky. Yes, Stroll just got pinched on the inside there. And there you can see the impact from his teammates. Just unlucky, really. And what a breathtaking first lap that was. We're going to take, a, have a, a, we're going to take another look, should I say, at what happened at the front. And it was, uh, of course, that Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel who led the pack away from pole. Uh, but then uh, it looks as if Hamilton went for quite a dive down the inside at the first she came. But uh, now as they come through the Curva Grande, uh, sort of Hamilton going back in to the slipstream of the four-time world champion and uh, the Brit just sort of uh, bided his time. And as they came towards the second she came there, the, uh, the Variante del Roggia, Hamilton just managed to get the inside line on the exit. And then they were here. They are running side by side into the first Lesmo. I've never seen this in real life. But it's uh, good to see in the game that there's such battles. And uh, there you can see Lewis Hamilton just squeezing through as they uh, were on their way towards the second Lesmo. And pretty much everybody in formation as we went uh, towards the Ascari chicane. But uh, yeah. Pretty interesting lap one, to say the least, as uh, there you can see Charles Leclerc just sort of tucking in behind his teammates. He was looking pretty, uh, sort of, very much as an onlooker on, the, on lap one of the Grand Prix. But now, as we take a look at the safety car order, of course, it is pretty much exactly as, we, uh, as we've seen on lap one of the Grand Prix. But there was actually one change, which we'll get to in a minute. So you've still got, of course, Lewis Hamilton leading the way after his lap one overtake on Sebastian Vettel and uh, then behind Sebastian is his teammate Charles Leclerc just sort of waiting in the wings and then in P4 we've got Daniel Ricciardo who seemed to overtake Bottas under safety car conditions I I couldn't really you know work out what went on there but I think Bottas just really slowed down a lot so Bottas is now down in P uh, in P5 ourselves we're still in P6 ahead of Max Verstappen just about uh, after he nearly went round the outside on lap one. Verstappen with his brand new 2019 white and red helmet, which looks very nice in this game. But uh, less of that and more of the action now because at the end of lap four, the safety car has peeled off and it is Lewis Hamilton setting the pace as we come through the Parabolica now trying to get a good safety car restart, something which we haven't had too many of this season and uh, now we, are, we go green for the uh, just the second time in this Grand Prix and we've got Verstappen behind us we don't look as if we're putting a challenge on anyone but Sebastian Vettel is putting a challenge on someone and that is the race leader Lewis Hamilton and as they come into the first chicane Vettel is going to have that inside line and uh, through the Curva Grande they're going to be side by side for the second time in this race we're only on lap five and we've already had a lot of action and they are still side by side but it looks as if Vettel is going to have the inside line as they go into the second chicane and sure enough the German is but Hamilton is not giving up lightly and they're still side by side Hamilton getting a big tank slapper on the exit of the second chicane as they go into the first Lesmo Hamilton still leading and he just about pushes uh, Sebastian Vettel behind him but all this battling has allowed us to close right up to Valtteri Bottas and the whole pack of, of cars in this Grand Prix are pretty much glued together still uh, almost one lap after the safety car restart. So this is good to see as, of course, we go purple uh, through Sector 2, seeing as, uh, well, this is pretty much the uh, the first full racing lap of the Grand Prix. But uh, now we're going to skip forward slightly to lap 8. We've still got Lewis Hamilton leading this Italian Grand Prix, almost at one-third race distance. But there you can see Sebastian Vettel 
looking very racy at the moment. And uh, he couldn't get ahead at the safety guard restart. But he's going to chuck one down the inside there because Hamilton has run wide into the Parabolica. The conditions seem to be getting worse out on track. Not significantly, but... Um, you know, these intermediate tyres are looking a bit borderline now, I won't lie. And uh, Hamilton very much caught out by the wet conditions there. And he's got a poor exit off Parabolica as well, which means that uh, Charles Leclerc is going to try and go round his outside, which should turn to the inside in the second part of the chicane. And they are now side by side. It's been a very poor few corners by Lewis Hamilton here on lap 9 of the Grand Prix. But he's just about going to edge ahead of Charles Leclerc. But he's not going anywhere. And now our teammate Daniel Ricciardo is going to try and get in on the act as they come towards the second chicane. Leclerc with the inside line. But I think Hamilton is just about going to hang it in there. And sure enough, the five-time world champion stays in P2 for the meantime. But the race leader, Sebastian Vettel, has uh, opened up quite a big gap. And we are just sort of quietly going about our business. And uh, we're not too far behind P2, uh, despite it being lap 9 of this Grand Prix. So the Renault car showing a decent bit of pace. But, uh, of course, you've got to remember that uh, the cars ahead have been battling. Um, so it sort of flatters us a little bit. But uh, we've still got a decent little gap behind to Roman Grosjean. So it's 7 tenths up ahead and 4.2 seconds behind. So... You know, the, the top three teams, I'd say we're very much in there now. But uh, here are the top two teams, definitely Ferrari and Mercedes battling it out once again. And it's once again Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton going at it one lap after they last were on lap 10. We're just going to sit behind and see what happens. Because uh, we're closing up to Valtteri Bottas. And we're going to try and go down the inside of the fin. But he closes the door on us. And... Everybody's going so slowly in these treacherous conditions. You can see the spray is very much increasing at this point of the Grand Prix. So we lost out to Valtteri Bottas there because there was no route through for us. And it looks as if Hamilton has somehow held on to P2 for this moment in time. And you can see there he is still ahead of Charles Leclerc. But just look how far ahead Sebastian Vettel is at this point. He's uh, bridged a good few seconds to the pack behind. Probably four or five seconds, you'd say. And uh, at this point of the Grand Prix, it's looking pretty ominous uh, for the German. At, of course, Ferrari's home Grand Prix. But now we uh, start lap 13. And Valtteri Bottas, who, of course, got overtaken by Daniel Ricciardo on lap 1 of the Grand Prix, is now trying to go for a move on the Australian. We're very much moving towards the pit window now. So the Renault, uh, Renault man's tyres probably starting to wear and uh, Mercedes over the course of this season have had better tyre wear than the uh, well definitely my Renault car and it's looking as if it could be the same for Daniel Ricciardo who is starting to become detached from the top three now so Bottas trying to look for a route through but it's going to be very difficult is he going to take the inside on the exit of the second chicane he's got a lot of wheel spin there but he is going to have the inside line as we go towards the first Lesmo we thought about sticking our nose in it but uh, thought better of it there'd be nothing worse than taking our teammate out and wasting a valuable number of points but uh, there you see it uh, Valtteri Bottas up into P4 of the Grand Prix and it is now uh, Ferrari 1, Mercedes 2, Ferrari 3, Mercedes 4. And uh, then in 5 and 6 we've got the two Renault cars. Of course, ourselves behind our teammate, but we are going to dive into the pit lane and mix up the order at the end of lap 13. So hopefully this will be the only time we pit in this Grand Prix because it's not looking as if the weather is uh, going to be improving anytime soon but I don't think it's going to worsen enough uh, for us to put the extreme wet tyres on and uh, now we finally get released from the pit lane it looks as if we've lost a little bit of time to Valtteri Bottas there we'll have to see what the gap is between us and uh, and himself but uh, now we've got Sergio Perez racing past the, uh, the pit box and he's actually jumped myself and Valtteri Bottas of course, he pitted after uh, his contact on lap one of the Grand Prix, but you'd expect him to have to pit before the uh, the time the Grand Prix ends. But for the meantime, he's sort of put a little bit of a spanner in the works because you've now got a slower racing point car ahead of Valtteri Bottas. So hopefully he can hold Bottas up. 
But now we start lap 15 and our teammate is coming out of the pit lane, Daniel Ricciardo. And we're going to have a good run at him here. And we're going to be pretty much side by side with our teammate in it to the first chicane. And uh, Ricciardo couldn't quite get his tyres up to temperature as he braked for that first chicane. And we have now jumped our teammate up into a net P5. That has been a good pit phase for us. We've got our tyres up to temperature a lot quicker than Ricardo could and him going an extra lap really hasn't played into his favour. You'd expect that Ricardo would have got first preference on the pit seeing as he's been pretty much quicker than us all weekend. But uh, we're in P5 now as Sergio Perez does come into the pit lane for his second stop of the afternoon. But it looks as if uh, Daniel Ricardo isn't done uh, at uh, sort of settling for P6. He knows that he's been quicker than us for the entirety of the weekend, so he's going to surely try and move on us at some point. But we're just gradually starting to close up to Valtteri Bottas. And here on lap 16 of the Grand Prix, the track's starting to dry out. And after a number of fastest laps from drivers in front, we put in the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. We did it in Spa under different circumstances. And I believe that was on lap 16 of the Grand Prix as well. But this time on lap 16, we are very much in battle with cars ahead of us. We're not streaking away with the lead. We have got a Mercedes that we really want to overtake up ahead. And uh, we are deploying the overtake ERS mode at this point of the Grand Prix. So we're a little bit slower than we were on lap 16. But we are now within 7 tenths of a second of Valtteri Bottas. And uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good at this stage of the Grand Prix. Very much in the groove with this car. And we've put a little bit of a gap between ourselves and our teammate behind Daniel Ricciardo. So if we do get close enough to Valtteri Bottas and we do want to try a move, we uh, maybe can afford to be a little bit adventurous uh, with that gap behind because Ricciardo is not going to be immediately ready to pounce. Uh, but yeah, we come through Sector 2 now and uh, Bottas has put a little bit of distance between himself and us there, but uh, not significantly. The gap is still below a second. And now we've got a safety car deployed. Just as we were closing up. And looking as if we were going to make a move. We've got the second safety car of the Grand Prix. And it's Carlos Sainz out for a second race in a row. He's had a number of DNFs this season. Really can't catch a break in that McLaren. Of course, he's using the AI of Fernando Alonso. So his luck very much carrying over. But we can see what happened here. And uh, as he came through the first chicane, there's a Williams of Robert Kubica that was closing up to him. Warning sign should have been uh, should have been going then that a Williams was even faster than him. But uh, yeah, it's just an engine blow up again for McLaren. And they're using the same Renault power unit as ourselves in the Renault team, but uh, look at how good ours is. Yeah, I'm not bragging or anything, but uh, interestingly enough, under the safety car, Charles Leclerc came into the pit lane, so whether he's got a problem, I'm not sure, but that has now promoted us up into P4 and Valtteri Bottas into a podium position. So now we're gonna take a look at the running order under this second safety car of the Italian Grand Prix. I'd like to know exactly how many safety cars we've had this season because it must be a lot. But leading the way is Sebastian Vettel and his big advantage has been cut right down. And uh, now we've got uh, Lewis Hamilton right behind him in P2. I think Vettel had about an 8 or 10 second gap up ahead. But yeah, that's been reduced to pretty much zero now. And uh, then in P3, you've got Bottas ahead of ourselves and our teammate Daniel Ricciardo occupying P4 and 5 and then in 6th place we've got Roman Grosjean so for the Rich Energy Haas team he's looking pretty good ahead of Max Verstappen so Verstappen interestingly struggling with these wet conditions as is his teammate Pierre Gasly it's been an interesting few races for Red Bull and they just don't seem to be scoring many points but uh, anyway we are now ending lap 20 we've got 7 laps left in this Italian Grand Prix and we go green once more through the Parabolica and on to the start of lap 21 we go trying to get as close to Valtteri Bottas as possible but we're not going to be able to make a move but it looks as if Lewis Hamilton is and the man that looked as if he was going to have to settle for P2 in this Grand Prix is now trying for a move on the home favourite Sebastian Vettel and it looks as if Hamilton is going to have the traction on the exit of the first chicane and now for the umpteenth time in this Grand Prix, Vettel and Hamilton go side by side through the curve. 
Curva Grande and it looks as if Hamilton is going to have the inside line as they go into this corner. Bottas also taking a look but Bottas really slows down and we've got into the back of him and we're now vulnerable for a move from our teammate behind Daniel Ricciardo and as we look at the aerial view it looks as if Ricciardo is going to try and go down the outside at the first Lesmo but that's really backfired on him and it looks as if Roman Grosjean and yes he has got past uh, Daniel Ricciardo so the Haas car up into P5 and it looks as if Grosjean is now in our slipstream and he's going to look for a surprise P4. So who is going to emerge first at the Ascari chicane? Grosjean's going to try and go all the way around the outside but now he's locked up and has then made contact with Max Verstappen and that has really cost Roman Grosjean. It's been good for ourselves and our teammate Daniel Ricciardo as we are now going to run side by side into the final corner at the Parabolica. Hopefully we don't make any contact. We break very, very late there. Ricardo is surely going to cut underneath us, but we should be able to get a good run um, out of the final corner, seeing as we ran so wide. And yes, sure enough, it has done as good in the long run. Although uh, Ricardo is still going to be there on the outside. It looks as if he is losing a bit of time now. And yes, he is going to sit behind us in to the first chicane. And on lap 22 of this Grand Prix, it looks as if we're going to be looking behind us instead of in front because Bottas has put a good bit of distance between himself and us. And uh, Bottas just about tagging on to the battle for P1. And there you can see Sebastian Vettel has relinquished P1 in this Grand Prix. And the Tifosi, they will not be happy. They will not be happy at, at Carlos Sainz for causing that safety car. But anyway, we're going to take a look at a replay now of exactly what happened. So we didn't see initially that we really got out of shape on the exit of Ascari, which is what led to uh, Daniel Ricciardo having a pop at us at the final corner. But we had to go really deep into Ascari just to prevent Roman Grosjean from getting at us. And then we go really wide into Parabolica. It was a very, very messy two turns for us. A very messy lap because, of course, we made contact with Valtteri Bottas as well. Very lucky to escape with no damage there. But uh, eventually, we did manage to get ahead of Ricardo at the start of lap 22. And now we're going to take a look at it from uh, Max Verstappen's point of view. So he just got absolutely swiped by that Haas car of Roman Grosjean. Really, really bad luck for him. And that's taken quite a substantial amount of his front wing off. And then you can see Verstappen just got absolutely bombarded into the final corner. So Grosjean did manage to get back past and uh, Verstappen also being passed by his teammate Pierre Gasly. So it's going to be an interesting final few laps for uh, for Max Verstappen because uh, in, the, in the wet conditions as well, it's going to be very, very difficult for him. And it's also looking difficult for Sebastian Vettel, who is about to be overtaken by the looks of it by Valtteri Bottas. They go side by side through the Parabolica, something which you don't see every day in the real life, uh, in real life Italian Grand Prix. But uh, Vettel looks as if he's just about going to head for the meantime. Uh, Bottas pulls out of his slipstream as they go towards the first chicane. And Bottas is going to have the inside line. You'd very much back him to get the overtake done here. He's about a car length in front now. But uh, Vettel not giving up whatsoever. They both get a bit of wheel spin as they come towards now the Curva Grande. And Bottas has made the overtake for P2. And it is now a Mercedes 1-2 by the looks of it. Although Vettel is now going to pull out of the slipstream of Bottas. You just don't know which way this battle is going to go. And oh, it looks as if Vettel has got the move done. Brilliant, brilliant, resilient driving from the German and it looks as if Bottas has now fallen into the wings of ourselves so thank god they fought with each other because that's now put us right back into contention for a possible podium position if we can get ahead of Valtteri Bottas and as we come towards the end of lap 24 we are still very much with the finished driver although Ricardo is uh, very much waiting in the wings as well. He's only three tenths of a second behind us as we close in on Valtteri Bottas, looking very quick in a straight line this afternoon, is our Renault car. And uh, we're going to try and take it easy through this first chicane, not get much wheel spin if possible, but I think we were asking for too much there as uh, we now go up into Rich Mix 
and overtake ERS deployment. Are we going to be able to make a move on Valtteri Bottas in to the Daragia chicane? And uh, we're going to dive on down the inside. No, we're not. We're just going to stick behind for the meantime. But Bottas has gone wide and he's made a little bit of contact with us. He sort of came back into our path there. I'd say we were very much entitled to at least try one round the outside. But I think just look at the amount of time we lost there after making slight contact with Bottas. And we know how long it takes to just, you know, reel in the advantage. And I think that is going to be our last chance and overtake on Bottas. We're now going to have to go defensive on our teammates. Daniel Ricciardo. Is Ricciardo going to go for a move into the Ascari chicane? Yes, he is. He's moved alongside us. But we're going to go sweeping round him and just about hold P4. Although Ricciardo would very much back himself to get a move done into the Parabolica. And now we've got Pierre Gasly getting in on the app. The man that was sat right down the order in about P7 or P8. At one point in this Grand Prix, he tastes a lot of points this afternoon now. And uh, he's in the slipstream of Daniel Ricciardo as they come through the Parabolica for the 25th time. And we are now about to start the penultimate lap of this Grand Prix. As uh, now Pierre Gasly looking for a move on our teammate. That Honda power unit just about giving him enough power to get alongside Ricciardo. They go side by side into the first chicane. Gasly taking a lot of curb into the first part of the chicane. But they're now going to run side by side through the Curva Grande. I don't know how many times I've said that this afternoon. It is quite a lot. But uh, anyway, they're still going to go side by side. We've put a good bit of distance between ourselves and this battle now. As they are really, really battling it out for P5. And to get 10 points in this Grand Prix, Pierre Gasly looks as if he's got past. Indeed, he has. So our teammate Daniel Ricciardo was looking for P4. And he's ended up... Well, very much battling it out with Pierre Gasly. And as we come now onto the final lap of the Grand Prix, we set another fastest lap of the Grand Prix. But uh, you can see, as we come onto the final lap of the Grand Prix, it is Lewis Hamilton who has spoilt the Tifosi party to take 25 points here in Italy. It's a win for Mercedes. It's a win for Hamilton. And Sebastian Vettel's going to have to settle for P2 after what looked like a certain victory for him. And as we come uh, sort of sliding through the final corner, Bottas is going to take P3 and we're going to take 4th. And it looked like our teammate Daniel Ricciardo managed to get back past Pierre Gasly for P5. So all in all, not a bad afternoon for Renault. 22 points to take home, but it's 25 points for that man alone. Lewis Hamilton, he got a stroke of luck, but you've got to say, he performed pretty well this afternoon when it counted. He uh, banked on that safety car restart and he got the move done and he takes home the big trophy this afternoon. Vettel... He, I think he's putting on a bit of a brave face on that podium because um, I don't think he'd be that happy if it was real life. But uh, nonetheless, 18 points for him and uh, 15 go to Valtteri Bottas. So a very, very interesting, relentless Italian Grand Prix, which sees your top three as that. Ourselves in P4, Daniel Ricciardo in P5 with Pierre Gasly in 6th, Antonio Giovinazzi getting 7th with Magnussen Perez and Kvyat rounding out the top 10 because Roman Grosjean got a five second penalty for that collision with uh, with Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc only managing P12 after that bizarre pit stop. Quite why he did two stops, I don't know. He must have had some sort of problem and Max Verstappen, you've got to feel sorry for him, down in P18. Just couldn't catch a break. He was uh, wrong place, wrong time. And only Alexander Alban actually finished behind him. Both the Williams cars finishing ahead, which is slightly embarrassing. But uh, now as we go into the driver's standings, we're not complaining because that's put a little bit of daylight between ourselves and Max Verstappen. And we've now closed in on P4, Charles Leclerc. So who knows, maybe we could get P4 in this championship on our teammate, Daniel Ricciardo, for the first time in a while, moves up into the top 10 in the standings. Now we are only 7 points behind Red Bull as we finish the European part of the season, with their Mercedes still leading the way, and it was them that were triumphant here in Monza. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, do make sure to leave a like, and let me know your thoughts on this stunning thrilling Italian Grand Prix 
But uh, yeah, join me next time for the Singapore Grand Prix. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Do take care. Bye-bye.